Join us as we take you on an in-depth tour of three unique homes, exploring the extraordinary towns and amazing stories that Ohio has to offer. Welcome to the all-new Herring Home Show, brought to you by My Floors. We're here at 1690 Palomar Drive in Ontario, Ohio, and we're about to be joined by realtor Russ White to show us this amazing family home. Glad to have you here today. Thank you. It's a pleasure to see you again, and, and I look forward to telling you about this wonderful home. You know, it's a hot one out there today, and that pool is looking pretty good. And when this is done, I'm going to take you out there and give you a personal touch with it. Russ, I can tell already this is a special home. Can you tell us about the history? I would love to. You know, this house was built on love. They bought just over five acres here in this amazing Ontario location. And uh, you can tell the house has a little bit of a country feel with the wraparound porch. And just, you know, there's almost 5,000 square feet of finished living space here. So um, it, it just met the best of both worlds for everyone. There is so much amazing space within this home. Walk us through all of it. I would love to. You know, it's really amazing. When you walk in the front door, you have the two-story entry and that chandelier, you can actually crank that down to change the lights. You don't have to get out a ladder to do those things. It's the first home I've seen done that way. Um, however, you'll notice the big mural when you come in the front door. Um, they had a local artist do a lot of this painting just as a mural behind us. But it was a personal touch in all the rooms. You're looking right into the living room. It has a nice gas fireplace as well. It's all very open into the kitchen and, and eating area in the kitchen. This house truly does have everything. Um, this area that we're standing in here now, as you see surrounded by glass, you can just look out and just see, enjoy those playing at the pool. There's just over five acres as I stated earlier, but this family, when they bought this, they personally planted every flower, shrub, and tree, except for a couple existing white pines that were on the property. Every weekend they chose a new project and went out as a family and did that. And that was really special to them and, and uh, it's something that's important and we hope that the next family loves it just as much. But as you come in through the first floor, the flow is so well for entertaining. The master bedroom is huge and, and again has its own ensuite. It has a huge laundry room off the master itself and at the time they were building this, uh, Kathy's sister said, there is so much room upstairs, you should put a second laundry upstairs and make the kids do their own laundry. Great idea, it's, it's there. And as you go out to the pool house later, there's actually uh, hookups for a third laundry out there so you can have your, your pool towels and what have you. You don't even have to bring all that back in the house. So it was a very well thought out home. That garage entryway is so great. Tell us a little bit more. Wow, yes, that three-car garage. I would love to have a three-car garage personally, but um, there's lots of storage. It has the pegboard all the way around to hang your tools and so forth. Um, and as you come in from the garage, to your right, you have a nice mudroom pantry. To the left, there's actually a serving window to the kitchen. And, and then you can just come to the hall and enter either the formal dining room, turn to your left, you're in the kitchen. Um, it really was well laid out. Um, I've been more and more impressed the more times I come to see the home, the more little things that I get to pick up on. And uh, um, I just look forward to a large family hopefully filling this home again with the same love it's had since built. You know Russ, this home is really well thought out and the craftsmanship is so nice. It seems like everywhere you turn around, there's a custom built in. Yeah, you know, the couple really wanted uh, Dunlap uh, builders to build the home for them. So they were willing to wait and work around his schedule to get it done. And they got the home they wanted, the quality they expected, and they've been happy all these years. So now that I know more about the downstairs, I want to hear more about what's going on upstairs. You know, it's really amazing that when you go up the stairs, you'll hit a bedroom to your left that Every room has large windows and you have these beautiful views outside. And we go into the son's bedroom, which has a huge walk-in closet. It connects to a bathroom that also enters to the hallway. And on down the hall, 
We have two more large bedrooms that have a Jack and Jill bathroom between them as well as a long closet so the daughters could share each other's clothes or you could certainly put a, a wall up and have two large closets. But um, uh, the upstairs is wonderful and as you go up you'll also notice a little weather station mounted on the wall and you can get reports on the wind, the rain and, and temperatures and that will stay with the home as well. The list goes on and on. There's easily a six bedroom if you want. They have a, a cute room upstairs when friends came over to swim in the pool, they were allowed to go in and sign on the walls and make little drawings and, and uh, that's just something that shows the love that went into this home. They just love to have people here. Russ, thank you so much for being here with us. I really enjoyed hearing all about this home. Well, it was my pleasure having you, Brooke. And, and uh, again, if you ever need anything, if we can help anyone, please call myself or Herring Realty at 419-756-8383 and we'll certainly be happy to help anyone out. And now, let's go take a look at that pool I promised you. Let's go, I can't wait to see it. I'm ready. We exit the sunroom, you'll see this large patio area that was just made for entertaining. And across here, let's take a walk over here and see this beautiful Serenity Garden. This would be a perfect spot, as I had said, for yoga or put the kids' playground equipment. Let's move over to the pool area. As you can see, this large six-foot wrought iron fence around here is perfect protection. Um, and of course, your insurance man will thank you as well. But let's go in, and you'll see this is a 20 by 60 pool, the largest home pool I've ever seen. And the first 20 by 30 feet is set for 30 feet depth so that you can play volleyball in the pool. And then it tapers down into the deep end. But at this far end, you'll also happen to notice there's nine pockets that were installed when this concrete was poured so that they could have their own home putt-putt set up. And as we enter into the clubhouse here, you can entertain, you have a refrigerator, a dishwasher. We also have a full bathroom here on the corner. And outside here, you'll notice two outdoor showers for your guest use. And around back here, this is the garage you won't find a better outdoor party facility than what we have here. So thanks for coming, Brooke. It was certainly a pleasure giving you this tour. And now it's time for Guess the Price. Brought to you by New Day Creative. Can you guess the price of this home? The answer is A. At My Floors, we've learned a few things in over 40 years of doing business. We've learned that when you put quality, people, and integrity above all else, it's good business. We welcome you to stop by our showroom and talk to our talented in-house designers and meet our knowledgeable contractors that take pride in their work. We have a larger selection of flooring than many of the big box stores and can upgrade any home. Our goal is to provide that personal touch without sacrificing on selection. My Floors, a family-owned business that cares about making your next remodel an experience that leaves a lasting impression. We're here at 4318 Pleasant Hill Road in Perrysville, Ohio, and we're about to be joined by realtor Amanda Sheets to show us this unique home. Amanda, welcome to the show. We're so glad to have you. I can't wait to dig into this house, but the first thing I want to mention is that lake view out front. Oh my gosh, Brooke, I'm so excited to be here. That lake view is only one of many awesome things about this house. I can't wait to show it to you. So not only is that lake view amazing, the entire outside of this property is to die for. Yeah, Brooke. I mean, when you come up that driveway, you notice the three car attached garage. When you come through the garage and you end up in the breezeway, constant breeze through there and a beautiful view, obviously the lake that we talked about. And then also, in addition to the three car attached, there's a four car detached garage and it is immaculate. So you're telling me I could buy six more Jeeps and store them all? You could store all six plus the one you already have in these awesome garages. 
<laughs> I mean, my husband would probably like to use it as a workshop, but we should just expand the Jeep collection. <laughs> I'm with you, one for every color for every day of the week. <laughs> So you just celebrated your first year anniversary as being a realtor with Herring in the craziest market ever. How's that been for you? You know, it has been kind of a whirlwind. It's been a roller coaster, up and down, up and down, but I definitely feel like it would have been a lot harder had I been at any other company. Herring's truly been very supportive in everything and you know, a year went by and I didn't even realize it was a year, you know? So that's how crazy it's been. It's just gone so fast because of that. <laughs> I can definitely relate. It's a wild market that we've been learning in. Oh my gosh, it's been, it's been crazy for sure. So I was a little surprised to find out what school district we're in with this address. Can you tell me a little bit more? I know it's really surprising to find out that you can have a lake view in the Clear Fork School District. It's surprising to most people that Richland County comes all the way out here and the lake is part of that. This is such a unique and one-of-a-kind home. Walk us through this house room by room. Brooke, I would love to. So the best part, in my opinion, or my favorite part, is when you walk into that entryway and have those beautiful ceilings on top of that hand-carved banister. Um, this is a one-owner home, and actually the owner of this property had that modeled after her grandmother's home. And so it matches exactly what her grandma had in her house. So if you take the stairway upstairs, there's actually four bedrooms and two baths upstairs. And one of those baths actually has laundry upstairs, which is such a nice feature. That other bathroom is part of the master suite. So it's actually a master bedroom with the bathroom attached, uh, which is great. So if you come back down the stairs and you go into the formal family room, it also has a formal dining room off of that space. And another great feature of this house that it has a kitchen that's also attached to an eat-in area. And if you keep following through with this beautiful gas fireplace, you can also see the built-on sunroom outside. It's, it's a great place to sit in the evenings especially um, and enjoy the, the beautiful property that we have here. This house truly does have everything, but I couldn't help but notice every bedroom has a walk-in closet. I know, isn't that amazing? It would be so awesome to have all that space for storage. Um, and on top of that, with the master bedroom, there's actually two walk-in closets. Um, and also for both the guest rooms, there's actually a Jack and Jill closet that leads from one bedroom to the other, which is pretty unique in itself. The professional organizer inside <laughs> of me is loving this home. For sure. Like we've said, this home has some amazing features, but one thing I can't stop looking at over your shoulder is that kitchen. It's definitely one of my favorite features, especially with the custom slate backsplash and the hardwood floors. It also has newer appliances, which is great for you know, whoever's moving in. They get to benefit from that for sure. Amanda, thank you so much for being here. I enjoyed spending time with you today and hearing about this home. Brooke, I really appreciate the opportunity and you guys can come back anytime. Um, obviously, if anybody else is looking to buy or sell their home, um, we at Herring would love to help. So I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. And now it's time for Guess the Price. Brought to you by New Day Creative. Can you guess the price of this home? If you guessed B, you got it. We're here at 178 Frederick Street in Lexington, Ohio, and we're about to be joined by realtor Robin Walker to show us this great family home. Robin, welcome back to the show. Oh, thanks, Breck. I appreciate it. This is such a cute little home, and I know that it's close to some great parks as well. Yes, Patriot Park, Bicentennial Park, and at Patriot Park we have the Blueberry Festival every year and fireworks and great food, of course. My kids spent a lot of time at Bicentennial Park this summer with their summer camp and they loved it. Robin, I'm so curious to hear all the details about this home. Can you walk me through it? 
Absolutely. You walk in the front door and you walk into this open floor plan. The kitchen that was newly remodeled, all the natural light in the home. One of my favorite features about the home is the pantry. It's a hidden gem, so you have to come to the house to find it. Another key feature that I love is the family room. It's also hidden, so I mean, it's a great place for the kiddos to hide out, or dad to have a workout room, or mom to have a scrapbooking room where it's hidden and nobody can see. Another key feature that I love is the primary, how big it is, all the natural light. Uh, another key feature we did not talk about is the hardwood floors. I love the beautiful hardwood floors and all the bedrooms. And the kiddos' bedrooms are such a nice size too. Another update, the windows, doors, all the natural light in the home. The updated bathroom. It's just an amazing home. You have to come and see it. So we come down the stairs into this amazing open concept living room that opens to these beautiful doors that let in all this natural light out to the outdoor living space, which is phenomenal for the family and a huge backyard to have great evenings together. Robin, I noticed that garden back there and even that is so nice it could make me want to garden. My husband tries to get me into it all the time. Eventually, maybe if I had a she shed like that and a space like that, I would do it. Absolutely, it's a great garden and it's not too big. It's just the right size. You're speaking my language. Robin, this market we're in is wild. What are some tips that you could share that would help a seller get their home ready? One thing is first impressions when you're first coming up to the house, the exterior of the home. Sometimes people forget about that. We want to pay a special attention to that. You want the flower beds to be very pristine, beautiful, the staircase to be pretty, dust, cobwebs. People forget about that. A lot of times they don't even use the front door to come into the home, they use the garage. So you want to pay attention to that front entryway. When you come into the home, less is more. Let's clear it out and make room. When you are showing the home, do not have any more than three things on your countertops because if you have too much on your countertops, it looks like there's not enough space and you want the new buyer to come in and imagine their things in the space, not your things in the space. Robin, I can't get over this home. It's so livable and they haven't forgotten a single detail. I love the fireplace. I love the layout. I love everything about it, especially that backyard. This is a great home. It is an amazing home. It's great for a family to enjoy dinners together, guests together. You can all hang out together in the same room with the open concept. Thank you again for being here and thank you for the suites. You're so welcome. I really appreciate it. And if anyone is interested in this home or any others, they just need to contact us at Herring Realty. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And now it's time for Guess the Price. Brought to you by New Day Creative. Can you guess the price of this home? The answer is C. To catch all of the Herring Home Show episodes, be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube.